Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys ways that you can use a peel and stick wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. All right, so my Dollar Tree was full of this peel and stick wallpaper. There is one I will show you guys in a minute. I am so excited to find that one. Um, it's like a eucalyptus one, but it was under a bunch of stuff and anyways we're gonna get into that in a little bit but the first thing i found these tags recently at dollar tree i'm using this like faux wood wallpaper i think this one is really pretty i kind of started to do a peel and stick wallpaper video months and months and months ago and i kind of lost interest in it because i honestly feel like they never had like good colors or styles in mind until I ran into this Dollar Tree recently. And there's like a ton of different fun ones. So if you're like looking for some fun summer colors, they have a lot of really cool peel and stick ones from there. So the first thing I did with these tags is I just flipped the wallpaper over and I just used a marker to trace an outline. And then if there is any excess, I just use some scissors to cut along the edges and that worked just fine. If you wanna use sandpaper or a sander, that will also work as well. I've seen people use that too, but since I'm in the house, scissors work just fine. Using these rub-on transfers along with some wooden letters. These wooden letters are from Michaels. I found these a long time ago. I think it was like 20 bucks for a huge pack of them. And then you can use like the 20% off full retail coupon that they have there. So it ends up being a little bit cheaper, but you get multiple letters. I think I got like six or six to eight E's and multiple A's so you don't have to buy a ton of different packages and they are a little bit smaller than the ones from Dollar Tree which I also liked. So once I painted them I used the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. Now I'm laying them out on the tag and I am going to be writing or I guess not really writing, filling out, spelling out home sweet home. And for this you could use some wood glue. I don't know if that would work better feeling out that it is peel and stick wallpaper. I'm just using a hot glue gun. I think this works great. Um, I think the only downfall I feel like I should have maybe glued the peel and stick wallpaper, although there is a pretty good stick to some of this. So I did mess up on an item that I was crafting with and that wallpaper would not come off. I don't know if I would actually put this stuff on my walls. My husband actually said I am not allowed to put anything sticky on my walls after my craft room makeover. Uh, so if you guys want to hear a big old spiel with him, I'll link that in the description box below. But he said, no sticky anything on the walls ever. It is a pain to get off. Uh, I'm also using a rub-on transfer. This is, I recently bought these off of Amazon. They're redesigned Prima rub-on transfers. I use them all the time and I thought these butterflies were so pretty and I have not really done anything with butterflies, but I loved these. I think this is such a pretty like dual tag set. Uh, the bees were super cute as well, but I just want to do something else and I am obsessed with this little home sweet home tag. So for this next one, I'm just using two random pieces of wood. One was from Michael's and the other one was from the dollar store or the dollar tree and it came in a pack and I had just one left over. I'm using that same peel and stick wallpaper uh, and I kind of have these all in order. So you're going to, I'm going to use one wallpaper this time and then the next and then the next. I'm using a rub-on transfer for this one. This rub-on transfer is sticky all around. Normally they are not. This one is from Amazon and I recently purchased these ones as well. I'll link them down below. They're a little bit glossy. I prefer not to use Mod Podge over the top. I will just deal with the glossiness, but that stickiness on the rub-on transfer ripped up some of that wallpaper on the back side, which normally doesn't happen with regular rub-on transfers. Uh, this one was just like extra sticky, extra sticker. So I just took some sandpaper and rubbed against some of the spots. So it actually is supposed to or it looks like it is supposed to be like that. I think this one is absolutely adorable. And then for the other one, I'm using a silkscreen transfer in this chalk paste from Chalkatour. The silkscreen transfer is from Amazon, and I will link those for you as well if I can find the same one. Sometimes they're hard to find once I purchase them. I'm just like, they're always sold out or just completely gone. I'm using the ink. What is this called? 
velvet color chalk paste by Chalk Couture. And I always link Chalk Couture in the description box below. I'm obsessed with silk screen transfers and they are coming out with some cute and I mean really cute transfers. So this is what this one looks like. Life is better on the farm and I think this one is so cute. This one turned out so good and I just threw this one in my tear tray. This next one, I'm using a $2 base. It was from a yard sale and this wallpaper. I think this one is very pretty. It's kind of out of my comfort zone if I wanted to be completely honest. Once I had this together, uh, I actually just did this one really nice and slow and made sure I smoothed out all of the creases and bubbles. So I just started with that one little small side and then just started kind of wrapping it around, just taking the back off nice and steady, slow and steady wins the race, I suppose. Uh, but it did turn out really good and the bubbles did come out pretty easy but like I said this is just not normally something that I'd have in my home but I was like what do I do with this wallpaper it is so pretty I have to buy it I but I had no idea what to do with it so let me know in the comments below what you would do with this or what you have done with this color wallpaper it is very pretty I just don't really know what kind of greenery or florals to put in it you're gonna see what I put in it and maybe you'll laugh maybe you won't maybe you'll think it looks good I personally need some help with this vase but I think this turned out cute and then once this is done I just cut the top off made it fit to size all the things and I still had quite a bit of peel and stick wallpaper left I'm just using a box cutter to cut the excess off and that is it for this one is just a sign I picked up at Dollar General. It was 50% off, so it was only 50 cents. And I'm using this beautiful wallpaper. I could not believe I found this one. I have seen some people use this in some videos and I'm like, how am I gonna ever find this? My Dollar Trees never have the peel and stick wallpaper, just the same ones every single time I go there. And they had this one, it was hidden under a bunch of other wallpaper. So I'm kind of glad I kind of dug through it just to see if they had it. And I think this is the prettiest. It's like a eucalyptus. It is gorgeous. And this would actually be really pretty on a wall. Uh, but like I said, I don't know if I would take the chances putting this on my wall without the actual wall kind of coming apart. Because I think I messed up on a sign similar to this. And it was just ripping the whole sign apart. I had to go in and redo it. So I don't know how I feel about that when it comes to a wall. I guess it would stay on if you like forever want this wallpaper on. But I don't know. We're not going to chance it around here. And of course, using my box cutter, it is getting a little dull. I've had that box cutter, I want to say for like 15 years. I'm using some more of these butterfly rub-on transfers. And I just, I don't think rub-on transfers are supposed to or made for this peel and stick wallpaper. This one slid and it did get ruined just a little bit. I did, I was able to actually fix it, thankfully, because I think this sign is absolutely the cutest thing I think I've made and I say cute as far as like cute this would look good in like my girl's room or something like that but I think this is so pretty and you can see I'm trying to like fix my mistake the t on it create is really messed up but this does happen to the best of us I think um I am maybe a little too cocky when it comes to rub-on transfers because I think I'm like such a professional at them that I like I don't need to rub them on. They'll just automatically rub on for me. Um, but this one did mess up. So I just used a little Papermate pen and you cannot even tell once this is done. I think this turned out absolutely cute. I kind of went back on that tee just a couple more times and the finishing project you would never be able to tell. Uh, and just to top this one off, I wanted to add one more butterfly just next to the create. I just think that this really tops off that wallpaper and it matches so well.
this next DIY, I'm using that same wallpaper. I use this more than any of the other wallpapers. I just thought this one was so pretty. I'm using this kitchen tray. This is from Dollar General and they were having a buy one, get one free sale. I want to say right before the 4th of July or right after. I cannot remember, but sometimes they have some really great 50% off or even buy one, get one free, which is still 50% off. And I'm just kind of creasing the wallpaper to make sure that it fits inside the sign and then I'm just cutting it. You could probably do a little bit nicer job than I did, but honestly, it fit perfect. I didn't, it actually fit perfect. And you just use a box cutter to cut that extra off. Um, this is where I do think that I ended up messing up the first time with this wallpaper and it would not come off. So I did have to go in and redo it. I wanna say this was the one. I might have just threw the whole project away. I cannot remember, but this stuff is tough stuff. So, uh, but yeah, box cutter once again, cut that excess off and it is good to go. You can add whatever you want to this tray. I did nothing else to this because I think the wood looks pretty as is. And then you can throw whatever you want on here. I think this is, this one is probably one of my favorites. And for this last one, I did have my daughter Presley help me out. We are on a summer break, so I have not been able to do as many videos as I wanted to, but when they do want to help, I let those helping hands help for sure. So she wanted to put the wallpaper on, so I got lined up for her and she was able to smooth everything out as she has seen probably throughout this whole video, showing you a good close up of it. And then we are using the color Waverly chalk paint in the color moss. We are using the color Waverly chalk paint. You know what I you know what I mean, the color moss by Waverly. And I'm just kind of getting around the edges of this and I end up letting Presley help me out in the end. So I was just kind of just showing her what to do and she did the rest. She did such a great job. She was out of the camera just a little bit, but you totally see what she is doing here. And I think she did a great job. Once that was done, I'm using this tobacco basket. I had this from Walmart for years now, and it has been in my basement. I think it was thrown in the garage recently. It was going to be in the garage sale, and it ended up coming back in my craft room. So I thought, why not actually just use it for something? So I'm using some Gorilla Glue with my Gorilla Hot Glue Gun, and I was very impatient, so the glue was coming out slower because it wasn't heating up as fast as I wanted it to. I glued my little wood piece with that wallpaper in the center, and then I had one more of these really cute farm fresh tags that was from the Dollar Tree. And now I'm just adding some greenery into this. I actually did not glue any of this greenery down. I wasn't sure how much I actually loved it. And then I figured that I can always switch it out if it is not glued in there. So I think this turned out so cute and actually all the greenery is staying put. But you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.